In today's video, I will be doing some water marbling. I'm using hot water from the tap and I'm adding Deco Art Water Marbling Magic Medium into the water. It will make the water thicker to allow the paint to float on water. Leave it for half an hour to dissolve and thicken the water, then start adding your paint. I'm also using the Water Marbling Paint by Deco Art, and they are specifically made for water marbling. Make sure to pop any bubbles that you have on top of the water. As you layer the paint on the water, more bubbles will appear. If you don't pop those bubbles, you will have a white circle on your art that doesn't have any paint on it. I started out popping the bubbles in the water using my fingers, but then I noticed that there are so many bubbles coming out of the paint tip. So I started wiping the paint tip on tissue paper before I put the tip to the water. That gave me a lot less bubbles to worry about. Once you're happy with the layering of the paint, you can use a stick to make a pattern in the paint. I used a stir stick. You can also use a toothpick. In this video, I used rocks that I made using molds and plaster of Paris or gypsum. I found that water marbling doesn't stick very well with the smooth gray rocks painted with a layer of white paint. Once you're finished dipping your art, you will need to clean the surface of the water first using a tissue paper, another paper, or anything else that you want to use. When I'm cleaning the water, I usually keep the first imprint to use for other fun projects. Water marbling looks beautiful on paper too. I will be showing you in a minute what one of the paper imprints look like. The first rock I dipped is a heart rock. After I made the flower shape with the stir stick, I dipped the rock in and it's ready. It's really that easy. Now it's time to seal the rock. I'm using a satin sealer by Deco Art, and I'm giving it a couple of coats. Now it's time to stick a decal on. I'm using one of my decals. You can buy my decals on my website. The link is below the video in the description. I will also link all the products that I use today so that you can do your own rocks. The rest of the video still has four more rocks showing you how to do different patterns on the rocks. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for watching.